M is the sum of the reciprocals of the consecutive integers from 201 to 300 inclusive. Which of the following is true? And so what M is going to equal is 1 over 201 plus 1 over 202 plus 1 over 203 dot 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 all the way up to 1 over 300. And so we know there must be some nice easy trick to this question. Well, notice if we look at the nice round number 1 over 200. 1 over 200, that has a smaller denominator, so it's greater than 1 over 201. In fact, 1 over 200 is greater than every single number on this list. So that means if I add up just 100 of 1 over 200, well, 100 times 1 over 200, that equals 1 half. That has to be greater than M. Again, because 1 over 200 is greater than every number on the list. Similarly, I have a look at the nice round number 1 over 300. Well, of course, that equals the last number on the list, but it is less than every other number on the list because it has a greater denominator than every other number on the list. And, of course, when you make the denominator of a fraction greater, the fraction as a whole becomes less. And so that means that we added up 100 Three, 1 over 300s, that would be less than the sum of this list. So 100 times 1 over 300, of course, that is 1 third, and that would be less than M. And combining these facts, we see that M has to be greater than 1 third and less than 1 half. And this is exactly what we have in answer choice A.